Hello friends, let me start. So first question I am using is, what are the possible reasons for database performance issues? Specifically, I want to know in Oracle 12C database, whichever database you are working, so you can use that. So I have pasted this, what are the possible reasons for database performance slow in Oracle 12C? So once I paste this, I'm clicking on this. So now chat GPT is in action. So it started giving me various reasons for a database performance degradation. So it could be poor design, it could be insufficient hardware, it could be configuration issues, locking and blocking issues, or network issues, resource contention, data growth, database fragmentation, outdated softwares. So like this, it has given me a lot of information. So out of which I thought, let me take one issue and drill down to this. So resource contention this, uh, or uh, deadlock issue or locking issue. So this is a general common reason. So let me take that. So I am pasting this. Since one of the possible reason for database slowdown is excess locking or deadlocks. So how to handle deadlocks in Oracle 12C database in general. And one more thing here chat gpt remembers the previous uh, result which it has given so no need of giving oracle 12c database but i thought let me be more precise for chat gpt so that it can give me a very good ai results so now it started giving me so how date logs occur and what all the information relevant information it is giving me like exploit locking, fine grain locking, resource mon manager, monitoring tools for handling deadlocks, and what are all the preventive steps for preventing Oracle deadlocks? So, all this information it has given. Like, uh, we have to have appropriate locking strategy while writing application, we avoid long running transactions. Use smallest possible transaction isolation level. Avoid holding logs for extended periods. Like this, it has given me some information. Now, what next I can do? So, first of all, how to know whether there is any deadlock in the current database state? So, for that, I am using how to know are there any deadlocks now in Oracle 12C database? Please give SQL or any script or any procedure for handling this. When I say this, it will remember that I am talking about deadlock. So no need of being precise since it is, it remembers. So let us see. So it is giving me SQL query to find are there any deadlocks in the database or not. So you can simply copy and paste and check in your database to this level it is giving me the information it is helping out so it is also giving me little information about the script and what data dictionary views it has used and what is the result of it okay good it is giving me a uh, decent information for me to proceed it has given me this sql script sql query like selecting from data dictionary view it, is, it has retrieved information from GB dollar session. It's a data dictionary view. So fine. Now we got fine if there is any uh, deadlock or not. So if at all you have deadlock, then what to do? So if at all you have deadlock, then what are the possible solutions? Fine. I have uh, right now there is a deadlock in my database and what should I do? So what are the solutions suggested if we find that there is a deadlock in Oracle Database 12C? I want information, what are the proactive steps and what are the reactive steps? So let us see. Now chat GPT is in action. So the proactive solutions it is giving optimize SQL queries and it's also suggesting us to use appropriate indexing isolation levels 
lock hints also it is telling us and coming to reactive solutions it is telling kill the blocking sessions roll back transactions increase lock wait timeout like this you know it is giving a lot of information so we can see whichever possible solution is apt to our current situation so usually i have seen uh, dba's uh, handling by killing a session as a last option so i have taken this now let us see what information it gives so what are possible solutions or steps to mitigate killing a session which causing deadlock in our case it will see because you can kill a session but after suppose if any session is running any procedure or function or doing some transaction if you kill in between then what are all the implications so how do we mitigate now let's see what this chat gpt gives so it is suggesting that it is your last option if you don't have any other option then only go for this and it is giving identify the blocking session and check the status of the session all this information it is giving it is also giving me the sequel to the command to give kill the session okay and it is also warning us do this as a last option not as the only solution so now i am asking are there any alternate solutions for uh, resolving deadlock so let me see what chat gpt tells us again it is warning it is a last option the alternate it is telling it is telling wait for deadlock to resolve on its own so maybe may not be possible in our day to day situations and some other suggestions it has given so we can go through and we can also see whether these possible alternatives are helpful for dealing with the deadlock or not fine so now i am asking what are the steps to taken after killing a session fine you are killing a session but you know what should i do after the killing session so what are the steps need to be taken after killing a deadlock session in oracle 12c so because we should know beforehand because once you do it and if you realize that you know after killing you can't do anything else so it's better to know what are the implications of killing a session so that you will be ready for the actions to be taken so it has given some of the steps so go through and just be aware that you know so that you will not be in a shock so now i am asking give me a script to kill the session so give sql script give me a sql script to kill the session in oracle 12c so let's see in every step as a mentor as a tutor it is warning you so it there could be data loss there could be corruption please take care please please think about it so it has given me sql script to find out the sid and this and also alta system kill session sid and serial this sid serial you will get from this sql even this information also it has given very nice now i am asking how do i check after running this statement if everything is okay or not so give me sql script for checking post killing a session in oracle policy obviously i have to do some work after killing the session so for this check the database state post killing a session so first you get the sid and all then see the status if it successfully terminated then status should be inactive so this is how you check it very nice it has given me now i am asking in my next question so next is give me sql script for investigating root cause sequels procedure name or function name object name which has caused deadlock now let's see what chat gpt has to say it is telling that it's a complex process 
but it is giving some information so that you know some script for you to proceed further so the script will return you all this information so each column description also it is giving like username name of the user module from which module it is coming what is the action so all this information it is giving definitely it is really a good helping hand for us then as last question what i am asking is from the above sql we got sql id and object id now give me sql for finding sql text object name session id machine id machine name for the above sql id and object id which i got okay because i should know which sql has caused all this information see now you can see it is remembering the previous result also it has the memory which google doesn't have it google search does not have it So it has given me machine name from which machine, what is SQL text, etc. Everything. Suppose if you want to go back to your your entire chat, then you can go to the first query and see the output. So by scrolling, you can see entire questions which I have asked this chat GPT. And if you want to any particular step or any SQL, you can copy from it. can see whatever i have asked everything i have if you want you can copy this code using this copy code if you want to give feedback or if you want to give thumbs up so that you know the chat gpt people can improvise this product so you can use a thumbs up or if you feel that whatever it has given is not suitable or not useful then you can uh, use this one so that definitely they can improvise this you can see everything whatever i have asked everything is this we can go back all these commands i am using this chat gpt free version so it can be your mentor or a personal tutor chat gpt can guide you the steps or suggestions or approach to handle any tuning issue and it can be used for finding some tuning material like if you want to know what are the good books or good videos to listen good websites so that information also it gives since chat gpt remembers previous information given in chat so it gives a feel of we are having conversation compared to google search where google search will not remember the previous search so just give it a try make performance tuning easy and interactive way enjoy while working using chat gpt thank you